Hi, I'm Dr. Surakshit Patina and today I'm going to show you what most fertility clinics miss and why fixing this one thing helps so many of my patients conceive naturally after years of failed IVF treatments. If you have been trying to conceive and it feels like your body is betraying you, your periods leave you curled up in agony every month while everyone calls it normal, well, this video might just change everything. Because what I'm about to show you isn't just about bad periods. It's about a full body inflammatory condition that's sabotaging your fertility. And unfortunately, most doctors are either completely missing it or ignoring it. Let me tell you about one of my patients who came to me after three failed IVF cycles. She spent over 10 lakh rupees, endured countless injections and was told that her only option was to go for a donor egg. But here's what really shocked me. No one had really properly investigated on why she couldn't conceive. One specialized transvaginal ultrasound later, we found deep infiltrating endometriosis that has been hiding literally in plain sight. Here's what's really happening inside your body. Normally, when your endometrium, which is the lining of your uterus, builds up, it sheds every month during your period. But in cases of endometriosis, the same tissue starts growing outside the uterus like on your ovaries, your fallopian tubes, your bladder and sometimes even your intestines. And here's the part that changes everything. This displaced tissue still thinks that it's inside your uterus. It bleeds regularly with every cycle but unlike your periods, this blood has nowhere to go. Your body in turn responds with inflammation, scar tissue and chronic pain. This isn't just a bad period, it's a systemic inflammatory condition that affects your whole reproductive system. But wait, it gets worse. There's a version of endometriosis that's deeper, more destructive and almost impossible to detect with a standard scan. It's called deep infiltrating endometriosis also known as DIE. This isn't some surface level scarring. DIE burrows more deeper into your pelvic structures. It can invade into your ligaments behind your uterus. It can press into your bladder. It can also press into your bowel and it also pulls everything out of alignment. And here's why this matters for your fertility journey. Because DIE just doesn't cause pain, it actively sabotages your conception chances. It can block your fallopian tubes, it can form painful ovarian cysts called as endometriomas and it also creates additions that prevents your organs from moving as they should. Remember that one patient I told you about? Her fallopian tubes were completely blocked by the scar tissue. Her ovaries were stuck to the bubble wall and no amount of IVF was going to work until we fixed the underlying condition. So, you'll ask me, why isn't this being caught? Because most fertility clinics are using the wrong tools and also taking this so-called easy approach. A basic ultrasound scan can really not detect DIE, especially if the sonographer isn't specifically trained for deep infiltrating endometriosis. You need a high resolution ultrasound with an experienced specialist to detect it. But here's the good news. When DIE is properly diagnosed and treated, the results can be life-changing. Laparoscopic surgery can really clear out this disease, restore your normal anatomy and give you back the real shot of conceiving naturally. And this patient, she conceived naturally within 4 months after her procedure. No IVF, no medications, just proper functioning reproductive system. This is why I never recommend IVF without complete fertility evaluation. We check your AMH levels, your antral follicle count, your partner sperm health because fertility isn't about your uterus alone it's about the entire system working in harmony the biggest mistake i see is that doctors are doing multiple ivf cycles even without investigating the root cause die that's left untreated doesn't really stay quiet it creates an environment that makes implantation harder eggs less responsive and outcomes unfortunately more disappointing trust me you deserve better than throwing money at symptoms while ignoring the main disease. So what should you do first if you suspect endometriosis? First of all, do not panic. Get a comprehensive evaluation done with someone who understands this condition completely. Find a laparoscopic specialist who focuses mainly on endometriosis. And also please don't ignore the non-period symptoms like bloating, painful sex or bowel changes. They're all part of the same puzzle. While you're also seeking proper diagnosis, support your body with anti-inflammatory foods, gentle movements and stress reduction. These might not really cure your endometriosis, but they can help you manage the inflammation that's making everything worse. Your fertility journey doesn't have to be a series of expensive failures. 
It's about asking the right questions, getting the right diagnosis and choosing a path that is tailored for your body and not just someone else's protocol. If this video helped you understand why proper diagnosis matters before IVF, hit that like button, subscribe for more evidence-based fertility content and share this with someone who needs to hear it. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Dr. Sureshit Batina and I'll see you in the next video.